Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Willer, Shills, Desley, Search, Passes, Fastles, Minions, Meat Sacks. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And I want to go back to uh, Yemen today. Uh, I did a video uh, about a week ago about uh, events unfolding in Yemen. And, of course, this massive blast, which uh, took uh, nearly uh, over 100 lives and nearly 500 casualties. And uh, so, anyway, Yemen is descending into chaos. And... Uh, now we have a dramatic uh, uh, intervention that uh, I was talking about in that previous video, saying it would only be a matter of time before Saudi Arabia intervene, and uh, this they have. So today uh, we can uh, announce that at 7 p.m. this evening, uh, Saudi Arabia started bombing in Yemen. And uh, so this is a dramatic uh, escalation and spread of this uh, clusterfuck and this madness uh, uh, all over the Middle East, and uh, Yemen has now succumbed. And uh, I'll attach my previous videos, uh, or at least a, a few of the videos I've done about Yemen uh, more recently. Uh, I'll attach those below uh, so uh, anyone can catch up on uh, the, the factors in play there, because I've covered them pretty well uh, in those other videos. But So what we have now is Saudi Arabia launching airstrikes with some theoretical 10-country coalition. And uh, so far, the, the, apparently, the U.S. is not part of this coalition, although the U.S. is providing, quote, support, unquote. So uh, that means the U.S. is, of course, heavily involved uh, to what extent we don't know at this point. We also don't know what um, uh, areas are being targeted. Now, the Saudi Arabia is going to be supporting the Hadi government, uh, and he is now uh, on the run again. More, most recently, he was in a city in the south, and so theoretically, um, the uh, airstrikes will help protect him. But uh, the Saudi uh, spokesman said that, that it's not limited to one city or region. So much like the uh, counterparts, the United States and, and all these other coalition partners, um, they're going to take advantage of the situation to solve all sorts of problems and hit all sorts of targets. But uh, so we know... Uh, that it's probably going to be the other Gulf states. So we're counting on uh, the likes of United Arab Emirates and uh, um, Bahrain and, uh, and, um, and those countries, uh, Qatar, uh, to be involved in this. And then supposedly uh, 10 countries, um, probably maybe Egypt. Um, so anyway, it'll be interesting over the next few days. I don't usually try and come out here and outscoop all the outscoopers out there. Uh, but this is a pretty dramatic uh, event that unfolded very quickly. In fact, I only read about an hour ago and it already piqued my interest that uh, Saudi Arabia and the Gulf states were talking about a possible intervention, but all their moves up to this point seem to be uh, defensive. But now we have the, uh, the airstrikes happening, and um, this will get uh, very interesting very quickly because let's remember that uh, all these weapons that the U.S. provided the Yemeni government a great deal of them have fallen into the hands of both Al-Qaeda in Yemen as well as uh, these, the Shia Houthis uh, who are now um, taking over, or slowly taking over the country. And uh, they have uh, a number of jets. They've used uh, uh, airstrikes uh, on uh, their, their uh, opposition in Yemen already. And they also have ballistic missiles. So uh, we could be seeing some, some uh, interesting exchanges going on here. And... Um, um, and it will be an interesting match between the Houthis and Saudi Arabia. So there they have it, a major event of Saudi airstrikes in Yemen. I'm useful idiot, don't you be one too.